Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning on this uh, March the 3rd. Glad to have uh, Gene Smith and Ron Wong in with us this morning. And uh, guys, I know anytime there's a new invention comes along, you know, I like that. Oh, yeah. Just when you think everybody's done everything, something well, no, no. good this comes up. This guy has come up with something that I think is going to be revolutionary, particularly for a turkey hunter, whatever it might be. And I'm Everybody looking, likes new toys. It, well, this, is, this right. is really something. It's an idea that this gentleman uh, uh, came up with himself, and I, I just want to talk to his name is Kurt Whitworth. He is the founder and CEO of hunt to go Limited, which I already like because I like that name. Yeah. And I'm always ready to go <laughs> hunting, you know, but he's, he's the makers of Clean Shot. Uh, good morning, Kurt. How are you doing? Good morning, Larry. How are you? We're I'm good. doing great. Great. Let's talk. Let's talk about Clean Shot because I know maybe last August you kind of came out with it. Uh, it's your own brainchild, uh, yep. and then I went. You took it to the Shot Show and these things. Tell us. Tell us uh, about Clean Shot. Uh, Clean Shot is. Let's see. It's been in the works for about. I'll say right now is we're going five years. Five years. Um, okay. Yeah, five years in the making from ballistic testing, engineering. Yep. I mean, you know, five years ago was a scribble on a white sheet of paper at the kitchen mm-hmm. table. You know, fast forward to today, we're in 3,726 Walmarts nationwide. So, <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's been quite the development, you know. Yeah, and, and a quick pick of time. and. Was that your napkin on the table that you're talking about? <laughs> actually, it was. Where is that <laughs> napkin? Actually, Where is that I napkin? Ha- I have it. You better keep I, it. I just found it the other day. I thought, I need to save this. You need to <laughs> save that napkin. I'm a big napkin saver, you know, because uh, I, I write a lot of things. But when you come about stuff and darn out designs like that, uh, it's got to be amazing. So what uh, what made you do this? I mean, you must have had some kind of experience you know that, that you got tired you know, I, of, and uh, I, I, you know, I tell you what—that's that, that, the funny thing—is is like, um, I wish it was like, man, like you know, I, I've got so many shotguns, and I just don't have time to clean them, and there yeah. was this giant problem that was in, you know, that I was trying to solve. It, 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 it wasn't like that at all. Oh, either, come really. on, let's talk. Let, let's no, say it, it was. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Just for the sake of a good story. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh no. So, but, so um, I tell you, what, one day. I, Little or it's kind of weird, but uh, one day I just I just saw like like a picture of something in my head, and I started noodling down some drawings, and I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I mean, I could I could probably shoot that through my gun, and mm-hmm. I bet you'd clean my gun. Yeah. Um, and that's really how it started. It was it was really just one of those like off the cuff ideas that just kind of flashed in your head and. And I, I, at the time, I was used to writing things down, and so all those ideas didn't get caught up in there. Um, but then I started looking it up. I mean, I, you know, go online and type in, you know, shoot through gun bore cleaner. Uh-huh. Nothing. There's nothing like it. I mean, there, there, there's no other product out there that is designed as a shoot through gun bore cleaner. Amazing. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm holding it right here in a little short box. I've got a four pack, of the twelve mm-hmm. gauge, and uh, the slogan is uh, the easiest way to clean your gun. And so technically, mm-hmm. uh, you just uh, load it up and shoot it, right? I mean, uh, yeah. So the the idea would be is let's say you went out and shot a hundred rounds of skeet and a hundred rounds of trap. Oh, you my have arm would be dead, man. Yeah, let's go back to twenty five <laughs> and twenty five. But uh, no, go right. ahead. Yeah, your, sho- your shoulder would be hurting. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah. know, really, let's, let's just say you shot a hundred rounds. You're out duck hunting or something, and, or and dove hunting. Um, yeah, yeah. Dove, perfect dove hunting. Yes. And so you, now you have you have a hundred rounds of deposits that's in your gun. So what I do find, I mean, in what I think this is human nature for us shooters is, you know what? When I get home, I'm going to clean it. And yeah. the bottom line is, I throw it. I throw it in my bag. I get home and I don't. It's like you know, okay, oh, tonight I I'll clean I was my the gun. Only one well, did know, that. No, okay, so tomorrow you... I'll clean my gun. Right. Yeah. So, so the idea would be is when you're done when you're done shooting and you're still out in the field or at the range, uh-huh. you simply load and fire. And and it, can I explain to you the way the product works? Yeah, yeah. So we have a payload on top, which is it's in a fibrous cup, which is like a lighter. I'm looking at it material. here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. So so what happens is then then underneath that we have a we have the device I'll call it, and then we have gas seals, and we have a 
highly oxidized propellant. So what happens is the device I guess is what I'm worried about. It's in the middle of all that. I'm saying, what is this device? Yep. You know, because I'm. Uh, yep. Uh, when when you look at it, you can see the different layers on it there. Right. And 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 so each layer serves a purpose, right? I mean. Yep. So so what ends up happening is it's, it's like almost like you know I'm gonna say I'm no physics major, believe me, and you just kind of figure it out. I mean I've been engineering this thing for you know 45 4.5 years right uh-huh. so what happens is when you fire it against a weighted rested payload so that you know that has weight to it yeah you have a you you have your the forces between the payload and your expanding gases the device is in the middle of that so what happens is the device when it collapses it forces a radial outward pressure north south east and west uh-huh. so so the, the payload shoved down into the cup. The cup, as it travels down the board, loosens the debris. Then the then the device, in its collapsed state, traps and wipes the you know the, the carbon and the residue that's been in your gun for the last you know however long. Whatever. Yeah. And and, ba- and basically, it just grabs it, traps it, wipes it, and sends it down range and. At that point, your gun is field clean in an instant. It's, it's field clean, so. If- so when I put my uh, my uh, Browning Black Gold 12 gauge shotgun that I've duck hunted in all types of weather and everything like that, mm-hmm. when the season's over, and I, it looks on it, this folks, this I wish you I, you could see this, and I may get Ron to make a picture because it looks like a shotgun shell that somebody left off the the part of it. I mean, it's it's a short, yeah, uh, it's a it's uh, two three two or three inches tall. But it's got yeah, all the looks. Quarters, of, yeah. yeah, it's got all the looks of a shotgun. I mean, even on it says twelve gauge uh, mm-hmm. for this, and I'm assuming you've got them for t- four tens and. Uh, no, so so right now we have twelve is out uh, at Walmart. We just completed the twenty gauge, um, and we we're, we're entering in production right now for the twenty gauge. Um, twenty eight and four ten are in production. Well, all right, will be in production as we move down the road. So now the, I will say this. I am I am actually in testing right now uh-huh. for the nine millimeter. Oh, okay. so all right. So my thought was the my, our, our thought was to develop the twelve and twenty super wow. common gauges, <laughs> yeah. and then enter enter the nine millimeter, and then I can get back to the to the other shotgun shells. Well, how Here's many a, shots does it take to clean it? One one, one shot. Wow. One That's shot. Great. Here's what we're going to do: is I'm going to take one that has not been shot. Uh-huh. Then I want a spent shell. Yeah, well, we'll do that. And then that, what we'll do is we'll put that together. Put it on the website. And we'll write a few uh, a few um, paragraphs on it and get it out on the website. Yeah. Uh, good. Great stuff. Yeah, good. Great Kurt, stuff. I, I know this is, uh, uh, the reception to it has been uh, pretty good. Yeah, we. Um, if you're in Walmart, the, the, uh, that, you know, that's, that's a good place to go when, uh, and, and you know, so how how has it been received? Uh, let me say, well, right now um, we we see sell through at Walmart every day. Uh-huh. Uh, we, we're tracking that. Uh, we've been sending out samples to a lot of different um, uh, publications. Like we just got picked up in the Guns M- Guns Magazine April yeah. edition. The guy gave us a page and a half, you know, story on wow. it. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, wide open spaces. Wrote, I mean, you know, thoroughly tested it with, with you know, um, Winchester Extreme Slugs, Double uh-huh. Lot. Yeah, uh, it does look shot. like a slug. I mean, it does yeah, have you the know, appearance like of, a, of, yep. of, of a slug. If I'm going to go, well, I, I will. I will say this too. I mean, that, and we can't mistake. I mean, this is well, two things. There's you know, there's gun cleaning products. And there's ammunition. There, there's never been a channel that's in between there that uh-huh. they yeah. gun cleaning, ammu- you know, cleaning product, right? I mean, right. shoot through. Oh, yeah. Um, but but I will say this. We have to treat it with all the respect of ammunition. It does have a muzzle velocity well, of sure 1,050 feet per second. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's <laughs> you know, it's an ammunition product. And Well, I know, just see anybody, this. Yeah, I, I just see this uh, as being something pretty amazing that you're going to see it. Uh, we have a wonderful gun club here in Memphis. That uh, I'm assuming this product. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there when they hear about this. Well, some of the kids uh, spend a thousand dollars a year on ammunition with this classic clay. Yeah, and so the, and, yeah. and and those yeah. those guns need to be clean. Yes, sir. And and so when, yeah. when it comes right down to it, but again, we're talking to Kurt Whitworth. 
He's the founder and CEO of Hunt to Go Limited, uh, makers of Clean Shot, uh, which uh, you can go to their website, Hunt. That's Hunt, H U N T E, go, Hunt to Go dot com. He's got lots of information about this. And I know, uh, Kurt, from the way I read, you've been in the industry for a while. Uh, I, I'm mm-hmm. assuming uh, you are an outdoorsman. Uh, yes, sir. To, to take on something like this uh, and to see it come this far, your background uh, growing up in, uh, did you grow up in Michigan where you are now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, been in Michigan from day one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, from yeah. day one. That's so, pretty and, good. And we, yeah. And we, you know, we have property up north, you know. Yeah. Um, we raise it, you know, we take our family up there. I mean, the, you know, we're outdoor people. and Go walleye again, fishing, is, too. Yeah, well, he can go walleye fishing. Oh, yeah. He, he kills some big deer up there, I'm, I'm assuming, too, uh, <laughs> when it comes right down. Hey, buddy, thank you for being on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And I thank uh, uh, my good friend Glenn Walker there from Providence Marketing Group for, for hooking us up. Let's stay in touch. And uh, uh, anything new, anything I could do down here in West Tennessee, East Arkansas, and North Mississippi, out of the Memphis area, you be sure and let me know. We got your number. So let's let's talk again down the road, okay? All right, perfect, Larry. I appreciate the time today. All right, buddy. Have a great day. All right. All right. All right. That's uh Ron's been showing it off there. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh yeah, you know, I, there's I forgot a to ask him how much it costs, but there's four of them in there. Well and it's worth it, whatever you have oh, to yeah, pay. Time whatever it's yeah. worth well, you know, it really is. One shot, know. Gene. You, yeah. you I'm glad you asked him that question. I like that. Uh, uh, you know, you don't have to sit there and. I do mean, that. how many people take the time though? You know, after they go out for a day. Even you know that, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, oh no. Yeah. Very important. I'll do it later. Yeah, yeah, that's always the thing. Well, I tell you what, I've learned a lot about that uh, in fishing too. If you go to the Gulf and you fish, you better clean up everything after you get every through. day. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Right. Hey, by the way, what you got to we got to roll today. Today. today yeah. At Sportsman's Warehouse on uh, Marathon Way. Yeah. What's going on? They have their balloon pop day. <laughs> oh, the, have the little. Uh, discounts inside the that's balloons? right any you can save anywhere from five to one hundred percent wow based on what's in the balloon that some you balloons pop. got a hundred percent in there that's right okay are what you out deal. there blowing the balloons up today uh, i'm gonna look for the one with a hundred percent you're going to watch yeah it. go you're out there to yeah, see, our see our friend, friend at, uh, David sportsman's warehouse and all. all right let's take a break be right back on outdoors with larry ray 